Hello everybody, this is Dr. Shashi Kiran. I am a dermatologist in Vishakapattam. Today I would like to address some common misconceptions regarding the use of um, or the, the presence of preservatives etc. in cosmetic products. A lot of patients come to me asking um, can, you, can I use something with parabens in it or in fact I have medical representatives come to me saying uh, sir please prescribe our product it does not contain parabens. Now this is one of the biggest uh, scams perpetuated by the cosmeceutical industry that parabens are for some reason harmful to you. Parabens are in no way harmful to you. The concentration of parabens is extremely low in uh, cosmetic products. They, they are needed. Parabens are preservatives that we need to store the, um, the cosmetic product um, so that it doesn't uh, develop or it doesn't uh, breed bacteria and fungi etc which are much more harmful to our skin. The instance of allergic reactions to these products whether they are parabens or petroleum jelly or anything else is extremely low. So what should you look out for when you're buying cosmetic products? Well actually if a product is suiting you you don't need to actually look out for anything but somebody with sensitive skin the only thing you need to look out for is the presence of fragrances which is perfume. So a number of products nowadays are labeled um, hypoallergenic. Actually don't fall for that, that does not mean anything. What you're looking for is fragrance free. Okay, it should say fragrance free, not even natural fragrances. It should say fragrance free. So if a product is fragrance free, fragrances are the commonest, um, so perfumes basically, are the commonest things people are allergic to. Especially if you have dust allergy, perfumes are, are something that you may react to. So therefore avoid any cosmetics, whether it's a sunscreen or moisturizer or even a soap with perfume in it. So that's the only thing as far as cosmetics go that you need to avoid. Now what about hair dyes? A number of people say, you know, uh, I want to use an ammonia free hair dye. Well, hair dyes are not in general harmful. The only reason you may need to look for a medical hair dye and when I say a medical hair dye, it's something called PPD free hair dye. There is a product or chemical called paraphenylene diamine which is used as a number of, in a number of hair dyes and that is the commonest agent people with uh, people using hair dyes may become allergic to in which case you develop an inflammatory reaction lot of swelling redness um, and itching as soon as you apply the hair dye on the affected areas so in such people you need something called a ppd free hair dye or paraphenylene diamine free hair dye even Henna powder that is available commercially can contain this PPD. So if you don't want to buy an expensive PPD, PPD free hair dye, then go for natural henna leaves, which you can grind and apply um, as they used to do in olden days. All right. I hope you found this informative. Thank you very much.